In this section, we're going to replace the thermostat. The thermostat is located behind the thermostat housing. In order to uh, access this, we're going to have to remove the, therm the uh, uh, upper radiator hose and the coolant bypass hose. This is the over temperature switch we'll have to remove. And on the back side, there's also uh, a temperature sensor for the gauge. Now, first thing we need to do is isolate the system and then we'll drain the coolant. And that's what we've already done. Okay, the first step is to remove the vapor hose. This is the over temperature switch. Next, we'll remove the over temperature switch. And we're removing this to get access to this bolt. These are the two bolts that hold the thermostat housing on. We'll use a deep well socket. Next, we're going to take the coolant bypass tube off. Move that with a, remove the bracket. Okay, got that. We're going to slide the tube out of the thermostat housing. Just like that. Get this wiring loom out of the way. Next, we'll remove the temperature sensor for the temperature gauge. This is hardwired, so we'll have to take the sensor itself out. Next, we'll take the hose clamp for the upper radiator hose, loosen that, and then we'll remove the two bolts for the housing. Okay. Next, remove the thermostat housing. The thermostat is right here, retained in the housing. Now we're going to replace the thermostat. The first thing to do is scrape off the old gasket and replace it with a new gasket. And get a new thermostat. Uh, two things to remember on a thermostat is the jiggle pin or the vent hole goes at the 12 o'clock position. Also, the sensing portion or where the wax pellet is is going to go towards the engine block. We'll place this in the thermostat housing. And if you'll notice too, it only fits in one direction. So it won't fit in this direction. So it does fit in this way. Again, the, the uh, uh, vent tube is in the 12 o'clock position. Go ahead and replace the thermostat housing. Install the bolts. Tighten up the thermostat housing bolts. Replace the temperature sensor. Tighten the temperature sensor. We're going to replace the over temperature switch and apply a new uh, strip of Teflon tape to seal so it won't leak. Tighten the over temperature switch. Replace the wiring. Now we're going to torque the thermostat housing bolts to 52 foot-pounds. Next we'll replace the thermostat housing bypass tube. Slide it back into place, replace the bolt for the holding bracket. Next we'll tighten the hose clamp. Last we'll replace the vapor hose. Our final step is to open up the coolant valves, run the engine, check for leaks, and then top up the cooling system.